Hello my darlings and welcome back to my dream home series, the farmhouse. We're going to be zoning on into one area today and that area is going to be the walled garden. I've got lots of lovely ideas for this and I've also downloaded lots of new custom content to make this place come alive into the place that I want it to be. In yesterday's video, we concentrated on the lawn area and we also went around and played around with the terrain and played around with a lot more landscaping. We managed to get in some of the bigger trees and hedges onto this lot just to make this lot come alive a little bit. So let's head on over. I'm going to talk you through some ideas and I'm going to show you some reference images that I want to portray in this walled garden area. And so here we are, my loves, back at the farmhouse itself and we are going to be working on the walled garden area today so this is the area that i kind of came up with i made it a little bit bigger than last time just so we can fit everything that i want to put into this walled garden i've got some reference images for some walled garden kind of vibes and i just loved the vibe of these now walled gardens were usually used by bigger estates they were they were known as kitchen gardens they were they it was where they would grow all of their own produce and have all of their veg and stuff and it would be overlooked by gardeners and servants and i just love the vibe of them the reason that they've got the wall around them is to stop like the wind and the elements from sort of destroying the crops and also to keep out like rabbits and foxes and stuff from coming in and munching away at all the bits and bobs um and i just love them i really love the vibe of them now really would we need one on a little farm like this? Not really, but this is my dream house and this is what I want. It is what I want inside, yes, it doesn't doubt. Now, I made some subtle changes from last time. Nothing too drastic at all. As I said, I made this a little bit bigger. And I also went ahead and changed out the hydrangeas for these hydrangeas here, which are from a creator called Max20. And as I've said, I've got some more custom content to help out with this garden area. And I'm going to show you a few of the pieces now. Now, these objects here are from Max 20. I just love some of the bits and bobs in this, like even these little planters look that have got like the little like detail, the little flap above it to kind of keep it away from like the frost and things. There are just some really wonderful pieces in here, like this potting garden and stuff. I just think so cute. Now, these CC packs are quite old. They were not all quite old. They've been out a while and I just love some of them. I really, really do. And I've not had the chance to utilize or use them in any way. So I'm definitely going to be utilizing them today. But this, it's, I just love it. Like the bird bath as well. There's so, there's some lovely pieces. Even the bin, like this is a wonderful little bin. And even down to like that, well, you just saw some of the flowers now. Like look at these hydrangeas. We've got some tulips here as well. That I'm thinking about doing like a bed of tulips across like somewhere. Just for some decorative moments in here as well. Not just some areas to sort of like just grow fruit and veg. I just love that. And I love these objects from Max 20. Another garden collection from a different creator. This is the Hortensia collection collection from Sibylet. Um, I love some of these pieces. I really, really do. Especially the flowers and stuff. Again, we're going to be utilizing them in the flower beds around the edges, I think. Even the wall climbers. Like, look at some of these wall climbers. that are absolutely gorgeous. They've even got, like, a purple one. that I really want to definitely use this a little bit. I do. Um, even down to some of the trees. The trees are absolutely lovely. Now, I will say with this pack, it is slightly more alpha looking in how it looks, but I still think we can use it. I still think we can get it in the game without it looking too strange against all of our kind of Max's match objects, especially this fountain. I love this fountain. I would love to use this somewhere in the garden. I think it's gorgeous. I really, really do. And I have one final pack that I downloaded as well. And it's a pack that I've had in my game quite often. And it is the Plum Bob Tea Society's Cottage Garden. It just comes from, with some really wonderful pieces. It really, really does. I love this little like tipping out bucket moment. There's just, there is lots and lots of gorgeous things, including this is where I first saw some wisteria. And I, I debated on whether to change over this wisteria. And I think we might do it, you know or the Plum Bob Tea Society one. And it's not just because I prefer it. I just think this comes in a bit more, well, for one, for a start is it doesn't pilk through into the bloody house. And it just comes in some really nice shapes and sizes. And I think we could utilize that a little bit better. So that's it. That is all the creators that I've downloaded for this particular area. And I will obviously have them linked down below in the description box for you to go and download and enjoy and that is where we are starting today and the main area where we're going to make a start today is on the greenhouse itself 
So I want the greenhouse to be right up against the wall here. I want it to come across quite a way, you know. And I want it to be about a five wide greenhouse. I'm going to do it one more over this side. I do want the greenhouse to be quite big so we can grow in all weathers, you know. Um, I did change the colour of that trim, but it's just, it disappeared. But we've got it back now, it's fine. And I would like the greenhouse to be in the same brick as well. We're going to go for a brick greenhouse. I decided to stay with this one here. If you remember last time, I was going to change out this brick. But I think it's absolutely fine. So we're going to keep it as it is. Now what we're going to do is get the grid off. And we're going to put a roof piece on here. I've kind of got an idea of what I want my greenhouse to look like. And I do want it to be sort of, not Victorian looking, but I do want it to look a little bit more classic. And the best pack all that is Pierre Sims Winter Garden. I think that is going to work really well with this particular greenhouse. And the main reasons for this is because it comes with these wonderful greenhouse windows. I love these. I love the fact that they only go up halfway and we've got this kind of detail down here. I might try and look to see if we can find a brick or something else down here just for a little bit of difference. We'll see what happens with that. I'm fine with it as it is, but I would like to see something a little bit different there. So let's see if we can. So we're going to get these windows on and I'm just going to do this frontage here and these sides here. I'm not going to put any on this side here because I just don't think it needs it with the ceiling above. And then that will give us a bit of freedom here to maybe do some tall planters or something. We'll see what happens with that. And I'm going to put the door on this side here so it faces right out to the garden area itself. And then I'm going to put two more around on each side. One there, one there. And two more over here as well, like that. And then use this smaller window. Plop them in amongst all of that goodness there. Yes, that's the vibe. And I'm for it. Now, I know we haven't picked out a roof texture yet. And I think what I want to do is maybe go for something like this. A little bit more with the lines a little bit more close together. I just think it will give me the vibe that I want a little bit more than the, the thicker stripes. And we are going to use these windows here. These are from Harry and Felix for their organic collection. So I'm going to flop these up on the rafters. You come here and I'm going to flop two more of these on each edge like this. Beautiful, beautiful, stunning. I'm for it. Oh, that's the vibe. Yes, that is the vibe. And to make it look more ornate, I'm going to use this one here, which came with get together the only problem with this i've sized it down because i find it a bit too big and chunky when i come to this point here it just disappears so i think what i'm gonna have to do is go in with the nine key there we go perfect let me see this yes that is the vibe that i ended indeed wanted lovely okay and i think we're gonna go for a little bit more of a thicker trim for this greenhouse we're gonna go for the beveled one yes that's the vibe Oh, I do like the way that that looks already. Now, I kind of like this now that this is all done, but I still want to have a little look to see if we can put anything up there just for a little bit of difference. Let me see if I can find anything. Eh, I tried a few things. I tried them and they did not work. So we're going to leave it as it is. And I'm happy. I'm more than happy with that indeed. So before we move on to any kind of finer detailing, we need to map out a formation that the planters and stuff are going to go in. Now, I have got a few planters but there is one particular planter that i just think would be the best for this particular garden and it's this one here from the plum bob tea society and the main reasons being for that is it comes in segment parts so you can make your own shapes of it and i would love some long planters coming through here so i think that's what we're going to do we're going to crack on with that i'm going to make a start and plop one there and then we're going to bring these down line them up like this Bring them all the way down to maybe round about, maybe there would be perfect actually, because then I can put one in the other direction then, and then still have enough space to put some planters here with the flowers in. Let me see that. Oh, I think that would be perfect. Yes. And then the same again, we're going to do another one coming down this direction here. So let's get these end pieces in. I think that will go all the way down like that. Let me see this. Yes, that's the vibe. That is indeed the vibe that I wanted. Now, I'm definitely going to utilize this area as a bit of an area where you can come and sit down in the, the walled garden. I think this would be a lovely place to come and sit and have a little lunch break with a little parasol table and chairs and stuff. So I'm going to keep that free over there. I think that's enough area for them to grow outside. 
I'm going to utilize obviously a bit more into the interiors in here. But what I want to do is make a start on the border planters. And I think how I'm going to do that is by using some half walls. So I'm going to start mapping in these areas now. So I'm going to bring you all the way to there. Bring you down to the middle. I might go a little bit bigger in the middle there. And do a little four moment. Or even actually what I'm going to do. Skirt it around that way like that. Yes, that's better. And then bring you to there. This is probably going to be the best place for the door. I think I want to move it a little bit more over to there, though. Let me see that. Okay, so with that being said, I think I'm just going to cut in with the planter like that. Oh, I don't really like how that looks. And it's obviously just got rid of all of my wallpapers. Because why? Because Sims. It's just going to do that. Um, so I'm going to do it around here as well. Down to here. Around to that point there. And then I'm going to... Oh, can they get through there? They should be able to. That should be fine. And then I'm going to cut it all the way in. And flop it up on there like that. Yeah, like that. Do I want to do one at the other end? No, I think I'll keep that free. And we can do whatever we want on that part. I will, however, go back and get me bloody brick in. Because it's making me fume. There we go. Brick reinstated. But I would love these planters to be a bit more of a wooden look. Well, have a bit more of a wooden look to them rather than the brick. So I think... I'm going to use this colour because I think this will match in quite well. Yes, it does. And bring this all the way around on these planter areas. And then we'll reinstate that wall back on this part here as well. Stunning. And I am going to lift these up just by one, I think. Just so they've still got a little bit of an edge to them. Now, the platforms are not enjoying what I'm doing here. <laughs> so I think what I have to go through and do is map this into a proper area using some of these pieces here. So that was very finicky to work with and that annoyed the hell out of me. But that's just sometimes how the game works because Sims. Um, so I am going to move these planters and just raise this platform up. I think I'm just going to do the one though. I think that will be perfect. And then with that, I'm going to put in that darker soil. Just line the whole bedding areas with this. Perfect. And now that I've done that and we're only using these two, I am going to move these across a little bit now. And I actually moved these up one more over to this direction here, just so it worked a little bit better. So I think the best thing to do now is pick some of the flooring. I would love to try some of this herringbone. Why is it glitching out like that? Stop it. Okay, it's not. Only when you're playing around with it. I would like to put in some of that herringbone there. And I think inside the actual greenhouse itself. But then what I want to do is probably use that same terrain paint and have like a gravel moment around here. I think that's what we're going to do as well. So let's get that gravel in everywhere. And there we go. Looking very nice and crisp. I'm very much for that indeed. Yeah, lovely. Okay, well, we've got the areas mapped down now. I think where I want to start first is maybe on the small little patio area here. So here we are. Now I do love a pergola and I think this one here is gorgeously done. I really, really do. So I think I'm going to utilize this because it's already got the ivy kind of crawling up it too. It kind of just gives me a little bit more detail as to what I wanted. And I love the shape of it. I think it's stunning. And I think it fits in there really nicely as well. And just having a little area just to come in and have, I don't know, a spot of lunch in the garden. If you want to take a break from gardening, you've just got a little area here to just come and sit down next to some trickling water. I'm definitely feeling a trickling water vibe coming on. So I wouldn't mind putting in the fountain over on this side as well. And this is gorgeous. It really is. I like this darker color in this garden. I think it works kind of nicely. So I'm going to push you as far up against the wall as you possibly can go. and Just whiffle it in like that. Just having that little moment there, I think, would work out really, really nicely. Oh, I'm very much for it. Very much for it, indeed. I think some lovely, like, potted plants around the edges here. And also a little bit of ivy climbing up at the back there would be perfect. 
And I think for this garden, we'll use this one here from Get Together. Just because it's already got the trellis kind of built in. And I do like the way it looks. But just to make it look a little bit more natural, I'm going to go around with the objects from the Plump Bob Tea Society. And just bring out the edges a little bit more like that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I like that. I think that's very nice. I would like to maybe move this across a little bit more now, though. And put it in that kind of position there. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. We definitely need some kind of lighting around here. And I think some lovely wall lanterns would be the best way to go. And I think I'm going to utilize these ones here from the base game. Because they've got just got a lovely Victorian edge to them. I think it would work well in this garden. Uh, do I want to do it a little bit bigger than that? I think I do. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And we're going to pop these in various places around the edge, I think. Now, I do think I am going to size them down now that I can see them out here. We're going to go for a little bit more of a smaller moment, just like this. And I'm going to flop these, as I said, in various places, just dotted around. I like the look of that at night as well. Oh, that's marvellous. I'm very much for that indeed. Very much. I'm not going to put a barbecue or anything in this garden. I just don't think it makes sense here. But what I do want to do is get some potted plants out just around these areas here. And I think with some big blooms of flowers, it would look marvellous. And here we go. A little plethora of things, including this little hanging basket that I just think would work well on this pergola somewhere. I think what I want to do is put it back here a little bit. So if I can like go directly below and then just lift it up. I think it only needs to go up one. Oh, no, it needs to go up two. Damn you to hell. One, two. There we go. Beautiful. Yes. Just at the back there like that. I said I wanted to use this pot and I think this would be the perfect place to use this sort of cascading flower moment. I do enjoy that. And I'm going to use use this lavender to death as i said i love my lavender so i am going to swamp this build in a bit of lavender i think i want to put some more outside the front of this greenhouse as well do like two there and then maybe i could put these little moments on each edge i think that would look really nice let me face you the other way though there we go you see this oh yes yep i'm feeling that vibing with that all of the above very nice. I like how that looks. So we're going to crack on a bit more now with these flower bed moments. And I do want this whole tulip area over here. I've pulled out some lilies as well. I think the lilies would look great over in the corner areas. Like this. Oh, and then we're going to bring up these tulips and just put them side by side, I think. Oh, that does look so cute. Now these are very kind of cartoony looking, but I still think they look very sweet in here. Can I size some of them down so it looks a bit more natural and not too... Eh, yeah, I could do that, but I'm probably going to need to go through and do it like in between like this, aren't I? Let me have a little look. Yeah, something like that. I'm going to do you as well, actually. Now that we're here, we may as well. Yes, that's the vibe. I don't have to like go swamp them in this, but let's do two more little ones here. Let's face you the other way. Uh, yep. Yeah. I know I'm being fussy, but this is my dream house. It's got to be perfect. Oh, I think that looks very sweet. Do I want to change some of the colours of them? That's the vibe. Do we want to go for a little bit more of a mixed bag in here? I think we should. Maybe a little yellow moment up at this end. And then maybe just change this one here to like an orange or something. Yeah, I think that could be very nice indeed. Yes, like we've planted some tulips. Oh, I'm vibing with that. I really am. And I think behind them, having some of this like wall climber look would be very lovely. So I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm very much into this. Lovely. I do like how that looks. Oh, I can smell it. I can smell it here already. I really can. 
I want to use some of these flowers as well, but I want to go a little bit more of a brighter color with them and maybe even size them up a little bit because I love how these look in here. I think I'm going to get rid of those lilies and I'm going to utilize these ones here instead. And I would love some kind of tree over in the corner here. This one here looks really good, actually, and it fits in here quite well, though. It does cut slightly into the wall, but I think I can forgive it. Let me see what you look like. What is this, by the way, anyway? This is an acacia tree. Oh, I do like that, how that looks there. With all of these flowers at the bottom, I think this could work. Let's start putting more of these in. So I'm going to do you there. I'm going to do some smaller ones as well. And I might even change the color on some of them just to get a little bit more of a different look. I think I will actually. Yes, we're going to change the color on some of them so we can get some, you know, different, different looks. As I said, and we can even use some of the plainer kind of green looking. These almost look like herbs to me. We could even mix a few of those in together as well. I think that could be a nice vibe. Can I size you down, my love? There we are. Let's bring these a little bit further this way. Bring you to there like that. And then let's go through and just change a few of the colors of these, like to yellow. Let's have a little bit of a white down there as well. Pink. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, we'll do a blue. Why not? You know? Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like the tree there as well. I think it works really well. Very nice indeed. I'm into that. Very much into that. Now, I do want to do some flowers around here, but I would love to also add a few of these kind of like bald trees or even these ones going into this part. So I think what I'm going to do is mix up some flowers, but also put these trees going along in a line as well. Yes, I like how that looks. I do. So I'm going to do that. We're going to put these all the way along. And I'm going to mix up some flowers in between them. I don't know what trees they are meant, these are meant to be. We can maybe say they're olive trees or something. That got, Well, I think the olive trees roots would kind of rip out the bottom of this, wouldn't it, really? So I don't know. Just some kind of tree. I think that would look lovely over there. Yes, I like that. I do. And then, as I said, mixing up with some more flowers in between it. I think it would just make it pop. Perfect. I like how that looks. And you can obviously see I went in and put a few spider plants around the place as well, just to break up the monotony of flowers. And I love this. I love this little tree. I think what I want to do is add two, maybe like here and also here. But I wouldn't mind putting these on the outside of the doors as well. So I think I want to add a couple of these to the outside. I don't know how over the top that's going to be. Mm, no, I don't really like them outside. I prefer them just there by the by those doors. Or that door, sorry. Yeah, this is coming together rather lovely indeed. It really is. So I think we're done with this garden area. Obviously, I still want to plant up some actual like plants to grow in here. But I think we're done with that area as it is. I think what we're going to do now is get into the interior of the actual greenhouse itself. And put in some more planters and also bring out some like a potting station and just some clutter pieces that make it look like it's a working greenhouse you know so that is what i'm gonna do so before we get into the greenhouse detailing that up i've pulled out a few extra things i think the garden needed including this like hose pipe pole i just thought would work well like right in the center of the garden so they could like string it along and water the plants from either side then you know a wheelbarrow is a must isn't it in, in a garden so i'm gonna put the wheelbarrow somewhere where it looks like it gets used quite a bit maybe over here by the planter not too near though because i do want my sim self to be able to get and use it i'm gonna flop you to there a little bench i thought a bench down at this end of the garden would work really well just as another area where you can come down and sit a bird and um, bath I did want to use this, but I don't know where I could put it. Do you know what? Up in this little area here would be nice. Just by the tree area. In fact, what about if I get rid of that tree and just put in the bird bath itself? Yes. And I thought this would be a good place to maybe chop some wood. 
there is an object that is a pile of wood somewhere. It's from a CC collection, but I don't know where it is. Unless we do that out here somewhere. We'll forget about that for now. Um, and I'll put that together at a later date. But just a few extra little details out in the garden I thought worked really nicely. And I pulled out this object here as well. Um, just for some watering cans and stuff on. I thought that was very nice. Now into the actual greenhouse itself. I think I want to utilize these planters once again. But I think I'm just going to go and do two of them on either side like this. Just putting them together if I can. Like that. And then do the same over on this side here. Put them together over this side. There we go. In fact, I'm going to move you in a little bit more, my love. Now, I'm unsure if the Sims are going to be able to, or my Sim self is going to be able to get back there and use that part, but we'll, we'll soon find out. We will. And I thought I didn't want to add too many vertical planters. So I think what I'm going to do is just do maybe three or four of them. I think three would probably, in fact, four. Let's do four. Why not? And I'll pop them right up against the back of the wall area there. Nice. And then have this area as a bit of a workstation where you can like sort of pop your plants up. I wouldn't mind some books out here as well. Maybe some gardening books I think would go well. So I'm going to put out some books. Uh, I'm also going to do that little potting station just next to it like that. And then fill it up to the rafters. In fact, I'm going to put you over to there. Where's that? There you are. A little fertilizer pack back here. And then I thought this could act as storage where you could keep your seeds and all of that kind of good stuff you know even fertilizer in there as well um we've got some of these objects as well some lovely plants can i put you anywhere oh you look great up there stay up there yes <gasps> do you fit up here oh you do these look like they've just been potted and i like that vibe very nice indeed and i thought just some of these oh in fact you need to go up here there we go and then put these pots down here maybe size them up perfect I do a multiple collection of them I can yes yeah I think this is going to work and what I wanted to do in here is grow some wisteria I think wisteria inside greenhouses always looks so beautiful so we're going to put this around and flop it into places where I think that it needs it And I'm not going to do any more than that, just so it doesn't swamp the actual windows in plantage, you know. But oh, I do love how this looks in here. Yes. And as I said, to just finish off, I definitely want some kind of bookage out here. So I wouldn't want a nice shelf across the top here. I think the shelf in question that I want to use is this big long boy from Pierre Sim. I think this will go well just sitting across the top here. Yes, that's perfect. And then will we be able to get any kind of bookage up here? Here's here's the the answer. I'm sure it will because custom content never fails to let me down. Oh, oh, I do like the big jumble of books. Oh yes, this would be me just scatty brained having lots of like gardening books and stuff up there. Oh, I do like that. But we're definitely gonna have to utilize this area for bits and bobs up here as well maybe just some more plants up there would look nice let's put up some starter plants like these they can get the full brim of the sun some daisies We've got daisy behind us she's getting impatient because it's time for her w-a-l-k but oh yeah i like that yeah i'm into that i very much am oh how cute how cute indeed we have got a watering can up here i was just about to say we're missing something in here but we have got a watering can okay i'm happy with this garden i'm very happy with how the ward gardens get, came out i think it's going to look smashing next to the house oh it does indeed yes it does great okay lovely 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 so we're done with the ward garden area there are still aspects that obviously need to be doing like the terrain paints and stuff outside of it and i may even do some more flower beds and stuff out here but i think i'll keep that for the next part the next part we're going to come back and we're going to make a start on this area here which is the outside courtyard area i definitely want to have some kind of outside dining space i would love to have an area to sit with friends of an evening as well maybe with a fire pit i definitely want some kind of wood storage and stuff like that and i would love some more plants and stuff around here as well we'll also make a start on the living roof area 
and we're going to just come around to here and just tart up the terrain paint and landscaping around this area here a little bit better as well but for now we're done we are done my darlings and that is our our ward garden segment which i thoroughly enjoyed doing i really did okay thank you so much for watching my loves leave me some lovely comments down below and i'll see you all again tomorrow in the next video goodbye